Mara said the old watchtower should be near the falls. I'm to tell those soldiers to head home. There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader. Running low on dried meat and, well, everything, really. Uh, what I'd give for a hot stone meal. up next for mountaintop duty. Mm. I was just up there two days ago. Yeah, and I was up there yesterday. So it's your turn. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Chera's cracked, then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our... insubordination. Things have, uh... changed at the Bulwark. Dakota won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right, then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. His echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. 
I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? What's going on? We're moving out. Back to the bulwark. You're shitting me. What about his echo? The Outlander will check on him. This must be the start of the climb. The watchtower should be at the top. Some kind of machine circling the watchtower. That's not a good sign. for when I need it. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around.
it must be him. Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. <laughs> Evil son at her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the Watchtower and check on them. The Watchtower's under attack. I need to get down there fast. <laughs> Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Oh, machines on to me. One of the ten the Outlander glides. No ma Thanks for the assist. Is the Zeko on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. I took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakote. All we did was go to the embassy, follow Chief Akaro's orders. And what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out. Dakota is an underhanded jerk. But maybe now he'll stop wasting lives over political agendas. with this machine for now. Walk with strength. We walk in strength.
shot could do a lot of damage.
Slow going if I use acid on it. Across the water, look for landfall, and over. No one here. That's strange. Well, nothing's stopping me from taking a boat. Oh, 
one's guarding this side of the ferry either. Where are the quail? They're on landfall, I guess. I don't even find it. Should be to the northeast. Another tall neck. Tomek that's sending the signal.
Parts must be up there somewhere. I just have to get to them. use of this.
Contact nests. I wonder if this is where those sunken tunnel parts are. Like the part I'm looking for. One down, one to go. Part of the problem we have here.
should go back to the Glintox nest. Get the part that's in there. I should get these back to the Tonak. I'm up to it.
So these are the ruins of San Francisco. The entire city of crumbling towers. And some are buried out here as thieves. I hope Oliver and the Quinn can help me find it.
you see me? It must be the entrance to Landfall up ahead. Is that her? The this is Landfall, right? I'm looking for Alva. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go. Let him know we're coming. It's her! The Diviner was right. Overseer Bohai, a stranger, just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat. Lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CO. So, here she is. Our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine 
has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. So you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. Where, exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. <laughs> that has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. Especially one as important as Thebes. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the Board of Overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the CO. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all! For the glory of the Quen. Good to know. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Wonder how long these gusts can keep it up.
am humbled by your choice. So once all said and done, you think we might return here? Please. I didn't believe, but now I see you truly are an ancestor reborn. A good omen if I ever saw one. I'm a scout for the expedition. Whatever I learn of this strange land, I will share with you. As is my duty to the ancestors, I should tell you then. My fellow scouts found ancient ruins west of here. They claimed to have seen a relic of the ancestors inside, but couldn't find a way to retrieve it. Perhaps a living ancestor could discover a way where others could not. Maybe if I find myself in the area. Ancestors guide us. There's a Cyclops drone monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. Barbarian! Run, stranger! 
The There's machine a killer will machine kill about. You. There you are. I guess we're doing this. You killed that machine! Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to all Hail the machine hunters! By all means, then. Speak with us! Open the gates! Aloy! Oh. Olva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little... tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. 
But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. That door is all that stands between me and destiny. This water's warm. Get me inside. Stop the turbine. Good. like an exercise room? Here I am again. 
Here I am again. Hiding in the gym. Writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Gregory's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday, and then suddenly passed away in his sleep, and no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back, as if I can't cope with death, even after the end of the world. So Ted had other people in here with him, including a teenage girl. The living area. It's pretty big, too. There's nothing normal. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and, well, let's face it, a harem living through the end time in the trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. The girl's right. Nothing normal about Ted. I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened. Uh, something tells me it didn't turn out that way. This is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. There, the door. Let's hope I can open it from the inside. Ah, good. An emergency exit function. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Oh, why are 
you dress like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me. The Renewer, greatest of the ancestors, the man who saved the world, and you. You understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raiment? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Look at this place, the grandeur. Pharaoh's domain. Simply breathtaking. Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. Thing. I'll give you that. I think this way might lead down. Less than he deserved. Of course. Right. Wonder if Pharaoh had a foot bath in his. I've always wanted. Brianna to told me that Gregory hacked into. Find anything interesting? I am. Brianna I told me that Gregory hacked into restricted files, and found out something awful: that Ted murdered important people who worked on Zero Dawn. Did Ted punish Gregory? Kill him for discovering what he did? How could that be? Dad said there wasn't a mark on Grigori's body. His heart just gave out. So hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Ah, statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. If 
Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! This is just us, then. Seer Bohai. She's gone. He has decided to return to the surface. Just like Grigori. A wise choice. And looking up we at the giant. We can't to lose any more divine. Hideous statue of Ted in the Great no, Hall. No more delays. We must that proceed. Is ice. And I know now that he's watching. Yes. He's watching us that all. looks like the way. He's always had power over us. I just never knew how much. Did you discover some data? A uh, fragment. A, a testament when to When I built this place, power. when its special right. systems were designed, I knew what I wanted. Protection, of course. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Control. Over every possible eventuality. After all, you never know what will happen, especially when the human element is involved. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess Ever I deeper we go. What is that? A reclining throne. Attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. No. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? Scan the device, if you will. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues. 
or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Hmm. Is that a small office? For a minor functionary, perhaps? geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer. Which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. Break the door down. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. Get to it. Is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. Open that door! What do you have to say? 
see for yourself, Ted. Zomtau's dead. Along with his kid. Found him on the floor of his office this morning, holding hands. Must have poisoned themselves. I never would have put them to sleep. She was just a girl, for Christ's sake. I offered them life. And this is how they repaid me. By leaving me all alone. But I guess I've been alone since this whole thing began. Alone in bearing the burden. For the past. For the future. Same old Ted. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come. And I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes that the reactor can give me what I need. To grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Has it rigged to melt down if kill them too? No witnesses. I'll take them off. What?
We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please, but Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. 
Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be worth looking around the island, too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CO made me play dress-up. Having a good day? Welcome back.
error. Drone feed disconnected. Error. Data missing. Error. Drone offline. Error. Data missing. Error. Drone feed disconnected. was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Aloy. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me. Nothing can protect me from them. I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? 
I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Ow! Now this focus thing's trying to kill me. Did almost drown it in fear. Not on purpose. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just... So much! I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor! Genetically speaking, of course, not like the, um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. 
and then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned Eric Visser. How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the Empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But, based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but... They're a good group. It's funny, because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in, you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck. But even so, you're different. We grew up very differently. But sometimes different is good. Yes, of course. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning, with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many Diviners to search the Legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the Ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Farrow spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? 
I never had the courage to ask. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. Of course. Before you do, is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. And like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Aloy, are you well? Had a bit of an issue with Beta. It's better now, though. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. Really? Why not? I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it, if you have a moment. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where. Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends. Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. I should go get ready. I await your orders. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost, near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way.
snowfalls blanketing the land. No one is climbing that mountain. Not even me. Must have knocked her right. I would need to fly to find out what happened to Farika. I'm sure this is where Kotalo wanted us to test his new arm. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time, killed more than a few of the Sky Clan, but no longer. I'm honored to help. After you. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. Yeah. 
Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. Huntress, you're back. I took down that shell walker for you. Fonda, Rendor, we got a pickup. Per our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But? Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? Good call. I know I can make a perfect armor. I just need the right one. It's good to see you. Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, scrabber jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. What else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas. Strong, supple. I could use them to make my armor more flexible. We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract. See what I can do. Best of luck! I should get going. I'll be waiting for that salvage. This, this is
Is that you, Red? Thought you'd pay us a visit. I'll take care of this. Clueless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Izvod here is all kinds of trials, so hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. Well, the Tanakh have them out west, too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. In fact, the Tanakh used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out, to those who weren't stripes. Look, they're medals, Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know, and then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Come to think of it, if you plan on going west, I could convince Izvod to give you some, if you're in stripes here. Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. Oh, and if you happen to play Strike, my friend over there has some nifty pieces to trade. You need anything for the trials, come see me. I have some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Good luck. Ready to practice your hunting skills, huh? Happy hunting. Catch my breath here.
Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent me mere scouts. <laughs> 